Okay, today I am going to show you how to make a wreath. And this is what your wreath will look like when you're done. Um, I used orange tots, but you can use anything that you really want. And then I used a red bow. I'm making some alterations to this. This is going to have a blue bow and it's a blue bow and is gonna have um red dots on it. I'm sorry you couldn't see that. Okay, what you need. The color clay that your wreath is gonna be normally green. The color of the bow and the color of the dots that you're going to have on there. I got some clay no, this is foam. I got foam in it. It's okay. Put in my scrap clay thing. Okay, now. I'm going to set this up for you so you can look at it. Now, you take your green clay or whatever clay you want for it. You roll it in a ball. Well. Like this. And... I got color in it, but that's okay. You um, press it down, but try to still keep it maintained the circle one. Actually, you take um, the size of clay you want because it doesn't really matter because all wreaths are different if you go to the store and look at them. They have small ones, big ones, giant ones, puny ones, ones that go in doll houses, all that stuff. And then you make your circle kind of like this. I make it flat on the back, but you don't have to. Sorry, I'm just going like this to um, thicken it up again, and then I'm going to thin it out again, just to keep its circle shape. It doesn't matter for any dents that you have, you're going to texture it anyway. And then um, you take your ball tool, I forgot the wrong one. I use the small one, this is my favorite. And as you can see that this one is kind of bigger. I did use the same clay, but this one's darker. After it bakes it usually happens. And I'm sorry I'm putting this up late. Prop this up so you can see it I guess. Okay, it's not really safe, but that's okay. Go right in the middle, make a dot, and then take this and go like this and just work it out so it kind of looks like a donut. Now I want to take my bigger size one, which is my medium ball one. And work it out again. And then squish down the imperfections. Okay. And there you have your wreath. Now what you want to do is you want to come back over it. And start putting in dots for the texture. I really should have had my pot upside down. It would be easier to see this, but that's okay. I'm using my big one, or my medium one, and now I'm coming back in with the small one. I'm just making texture on that one. Now what you want to do for the red dots, you can either put the bow on first or with the dots, it doesn't really matter. Uh, take a part that you want. I roll it into a snake first, and then I just use my nail and I roll that into tiny balls, like so. And then... Next, you can either just put it on there, or you can just do whatever. I'm sorry, this is going up late. But it's okay, because I have three hour delays tomorrow. Because the, the... Thing. I think I only want to do six. Okay. 
what I want to do is I want to take a group of three and I want to put it right in the corner and I want to take a darker green which is this um you might see it as blue because that's what happens in some of my videos and I want to make two leaves out of it so I split it in half roll these into piles and I flatten it and I pinch it the up top flatten pinch so it kind of looks like a teardrop and I'll do it again because I think that was off screen flatten pinch flatten pinch flatten and there you go sorry and now I like to make texture in my leaves so what I do is I take the leaf and a toothpick and I go like this and I make one line going up and then I make little notches coming up like this and that's one leaf and this is the other Now what I want to do is I want to take the holly and attach it right at the top. And this one on the side too. <clears throat> um, and then just put these ones randomly in place. And I'll probably make more after I get off, but I need to show you how to make a bow now. Because I'm running out of time. First you want to do is you want to roll out your clay of your choice for the bit. And then what I do is I make one loop like this and then I cut it a little bit bigger and then, sorry. Then I make another loop in it. And this is going to serve as your bow. It doesn't look too fancy right now, but that's okay. Put that on. And then you take a little piece for the ball. And then when you're done, you put an eye pin in it if you want it to make into a charm or an ornament. And then, um, you're done. Glaze it if you want. I think I'm gonna just glaze the little berries on this one. I didn't glaze the last one. And then take this piece and just go down. I normally don't care about the length of each side. They don't have to be perfect because when I see a wreath, they usually aren't perfect anyway so then when you're done just add in an eye pin and you're finished yay bye i'll see you tomorrow